<laughs> yeah. So, who do we have today? Okay. Today we are interviewing Ed Anderson, an Australian guy who had studied marine biology and journalism and who came here a few years ago to start a medical degree. Oh yes, in this interview he's not only going to talk about his life, but he's also going to explain the medical degree to future students. So, here we have Ed Anderson. Why did you start studying medicine instead of trying to find a job related to the degree you had already studied? Okay, um, that's a good question. I guess, well, my first degrees that I studied were marine biology and journalism, which were very interesting degrees, but I studied them more because I was interested in them than for any other reason. And with degrees like marine biology especially, you really have to go on and study and do a PhD and other. You have to keep studying, really, if you want to get a job nowadays. Um, and that wasn't really what I wanted to do. And I'm not sure if you're aware of the, um, I guess with the media as it is nowadays, finding a job in journalism is very difficult as well. And it, for me, it was something that I was quite I was interested in but I couldn't really see myself doing it for the rest of my life. It was quite stressful and it's a very hard job to do. Um, whereas medicine was something that had been at the back of my mind for a while. And in Australia, it's quite a normal thing to do a first degree and then go and study medicine as a, a second degree as a postgraduate. Um, so uh, I'd just been thinking about it. I decided to look around where I could study and, and I decided to do it again. Why did you choose Spain as your destination? Um, I guess for practicality, really. I mean, I was, uh, I was living here at the time, uh, working as an English teacher, and because I already had a first degree from Australia, I was a little bit older, it becomes more and more difficult to get access to grants and study benefits in Australia or the UK. Um, and it's much more expensive to study there. It's about £9,000, which for me is very difficult as an independent person. Whereas in Spain, as I'm working, the fees here, while they're expensive for some people, are more manageable for me because I don't have any children or other responsibilities, so I could save the money I needed to survive and study at the same time. When you decided to come to Spain and start over, did you have your family support or did they think you were risking too much? Uh, yes, no, they supported me. I mean, I've always, not just me, I guess my whole family were fairly independent and we've always, um, I guess, maintained relationships over great distances, really. And my brothers and sisters spend a long time in the UK, whereas my brother, um, one of my brothers and my parents lived in Australia. So for us it was normal to have that sort of long distance relationship. And also I guess they were just happy for me to choose something you know, that would be fulfilling for me. Um, and I'm quite happy for me to study medicine. It's not as if I was setting out to be a rock star or something or an extreme sportsman. It's something a lot more orthodox and you know, open so what are the differences you've noticed most between Spain and Australia? Um, I guess, as regards the education system, I think in Australia it's, it's a lot more similar to the UK. I guess it's based on the UK system. It's a lot more open, um, but at the same time, in a tertiary level at university, they expect you to take on a little bit of, of debt. They offer you more, but at a higher cost. Whereas here, it's a lot more of a, a public university system. Um, so I think it's more accessible to people. Maybe not so much as in other countries, in Scandinavia, where it is actually free for everybody, but it is a lot more affordable. Uh, and so the emphasis, I guess, here is you have you get taught more about the subject, but you don't have, I guess, so many other things available to you. You don't get um, the latest technology or 
that maybe some of the research positions are not available yet, which they would be. Um, and I guess it, as for the lifestyle, they're fairly similar, I think, at least where I was from in Australia. The, um, especially here in the, the Basque Country, it's a very outdoor um, lifestyle. Like it, because of all the mountains and the ocean and everything. I'm not sure about other parts of Spain because I haven't really lived it. Um, and that's, that's something which Australians are very um, keen on. I think it's a lot more relaxed here, maybe a lot more public. Um, because everybody lives in small flats and so they, they go out to socialise. Whereas in Australia, everybody has a, a big house and a garden and you have parties at home, you invite friends around for dinner, whereas as here, you tend to meet out. Nowadays, medicine is a very demanded degree in Spain. Is it that hard to find a place at university in Australia? Yes, I think it's a very difficult and competitive environment everywhere you go. Um, I was a little bit lucky, I guess, in some ways, in that um, because my first degrees weren't recognized here, uh, so I couldn't get them validated. Um, I was essentially applying for university without having done my final high school exams or anything. And there is a certain allotment of places um, at university for people like me who are a bit older, who haven't completed formal education. So for me, it wasn't nearly as competitive as it would be for a normal high school student. But having said that, uh, everywhere you go, there are always opportunities for you get, to get into medicine if you really want to, but you have to be quite patient. It's a sort of, it's a sort of degree that you have to set out wanting to do for the rest of your life, because whether you like it or not, you're going to be studying forever anyway. Um, because it's such a vast field and because it's always changing. So if you take this sort of long view of medicine, um, and you're prepared to put in the time and apply and search out all of the opportunities available to you. I think there is a place for everybody. Um, having said that, the demands of the degree are such that maybe a lot of people wouldn't be ready for it or wouldn't be able to dedicate the necessary time to study. What would you advise to a student who's thinking about studying medicine? Um, the most basic things you have to bear in mind is that um, at the beginning when you start, especially in your first year, it can all seem a bit, um, I don't know, it's just a bit pointless. You study a lot of subjects, like biochemistry and statistics and things, and initially you think, this is the medicine, this is what I signed up for. Um, but later, if you persevere, especially the further you go into your degree, you start to see where those subjects can help you to understand medicine in general. And it starts to all make a lot more sense. Um, but definitely at the beginning, your initial reaction, this is really, this is really boring. I'm, not, I'm never going to study biochemistry or I don't want to do research. But if you put in the time, it's worthwhile. To, to study what do you have to give up if you want to take up this degree? Um, you have to give up. It's difficult for me to compare because I, my other degrees I studied in Australia and it's a different system. Um, I do remember I had a lot more free time in Australia and I did a lot more party and just really had a lot more fun. Um, but now I'm older, so maybe maybe it's difficult, harder for me to study now than it was as well. I would say time, free time, is what you're going to 